This footage making the rounds on social media shows an AI-powered humanoid robot having a startling meltdown without warning. The video, apparently leaked from a Chinese lab, has become bigger than itself, triggering debate over artificial intelligence, robotic safety, and the international race to deploy robotic humanoids at scale. As general-purpose humanoid robots become more accessible, a shift already underway, such moments are bound to become more frequent and potentially more dangerous. The 31-second clip went viral after a Reddit user posted it in the oddly terrifying subreddit with the title, Robot on Hook Went Berserk, All of a Sudden. The community's users leaned into science fiction tropes with jokes about the Terminator, Skynet, Robocop, and Iron Man. The clip spread across social media, eliciting a range of amusement, technical curiosity, and skepticism. The incident has sparked broader conversations about the current state of humanoid robotics, the challenges developers face, and the public's perception of rapidly advancing artificial intelligence technologies. On LinkedIn, the founder and CEO of California startup Westwood Robotics said the viral video shows how unpredictable and dangerous humanoid robots can become when safety is overlooked. Zhao Guang Zhang said safety is a top priority at Westwood, which recently unveiled the second iteration of its flagship humanoid robot, Themis. Born out of the renowned Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at UCLA, Westwood is developing its general-purpose robot for applications like logistics support, industrial inspection service roles, and as a research and development platform. According to the founder, Themis V2 features a smart local manipulation controller that actively monitors for unsafe motions in real time. Every robot comes equipped with a fully isolated emergency stop system, so users can instantly halt operations remotely. The startup's proprietary Bear Series actuators also provide safeguarding with torque, speed, acceleration, and position limits. The viral video reflects a divide in how China and the West approach humanoid robotics development amid an escalating technological arms race. Messaging from Western companies like Boston Dynamics, Aptronic, Agility Robotics, and even Tesla center around gradual rollout, formal safety systems, and engineering robustness. They typically avoid public demos that could do brand damage. In contrast, Chinese companies like Unitree and Engine AI are putting their humanoid robots through grueling public tests, including synchronized dance performances unpolished and even half marathons. There's less fear of embarrassment and more willingness to test prototypes in public view. All evidence suggests the clip of the Unitree H1 throwing a fit originated on the popular Chinese video platform Bilibili. In the clip, an H1 robot suspended from an overhead gantry in a lab thrashes its limbs erratically. Captions in Chinese describe the machine as suddenly losing control during a test and attacking the engineers. On the X social media platform, San Francisco-based developer Six Live shared the clip with the tongue-in-cheek caption, how long until someone vibe codes a robot that accidentally kills them. Vibe coding involves using natural language to guide large language models to generate code, potentially leading to unpredictable behaviors if not reviewed. The method is noted for empowering amateurs to program, but it raises safety concerns, especially when applied to robotics. Sixlive is co-founder of REC, a project focused on training people to become virtual reality pilots. The Robot Combat Initiative, spelled similar to the popular 1990s video game franchise, aims for an immersive experience where humanoids, embodied by human operators, engage in competitive battles. Sixliv has been posting clips of Unitree H1 robots training for upcoming boxing matches. He compares the robot combat project to the 2011 movie Real Steel, which envisions a future where robotic boxers replace humans in the ring. In the Sean Levy film, the robots engage in gladiator-style boxing matches, teleoperated by humans. Unitree is also preparing for a robotic fight event called Iron Fist King Awakening, featuring the firm's shorter G1 humanoid.
The Hangzhou-based robotics firm says people can witness the robot matchups via live streams and on-site. The Unitree H1 robot is marketed as a general-purpose humanoid platform that developers and organizations can buy and program for their own uses. The Chinese robotics leader introduced the H1 in 2023 after bringing quadrupedal robots to the consumer market with its Go1 and Go2 Robodogs. The robot stunned observers when it held the title for fastest bipedal humanoid robot for most of 2024 and became the first fully electric humanoid to pull off a ground-to-ground -ground backflip. Unitree founder Wang Xingxing calls Boston Dynamics founder Mark Raybert his idol but differentiates his company with its mission of making advanced robots accessible to the masses. With an entry price around $90,000, the H1 belongs to a growing array of humanoid robots intended for researchers, engineers, and companies to build upon. Unitree's shorter humanoid robot, the G1, is available starting around $16,000. The global humanoid robot market, valued around $2 billion in 2024, is projected to grow to at least $13 billion by 2029, with much of the growth fueled by smaller players innovating on top of emerging robot platforms. It could play out similarly to how independent software vendors blossomed during the personal computer revolution starting in the 1980s. The viral footage was not part of any official Unitree promotional demo. The scene is a stark, fluorescent lab or workshop with a gantry. The camera one overlay and fixed wide-angle view suggest it's a security or test camera feed. It's also possible the overlay was added for effect. Since there's no indication it was meant for public view, the video is likely leaked from inside Unitree's labs or shared by a third-party tester. The Robot Combat co-founder posted a follow-up with found footage of an H1 robot in simulation moving in a very similar fashion to the viral clip. He speculated that engineers pushed a motion capture dance routine to the real robot without prior testing or safety checks. That's risky, especially if the motion didn't account for joint limits, balance constraints, or ground contact. He suggested the video could have been staged for the memes. The lab setup in the video is consistent with how one might test a new bipedal robot's walking algorithms. The incident is reminiscent of a dramatic video that surfaced in early 2025 from a festival in Tianjin showing a Unitree H1 suddenly malfunctioning on stage and apparently lunging toward nearby spectators. The incident was during a public spring festival celebration where multiple H1 humanoids were being demonstrated. Some observers noted the robot may have simply been trying to regain balance after a stumble rather than intentionally attacking anyone. In any case, Unitry Robotics is on the verge of becoming a household name as its humanoid and quadrupedal robots grow ubiquitous in the age of embodied artificial intelligence. For more on its founder turned unlikely tech star Wang Xingxing, check the related video.